What we can do is we cannot very often get samples from solid tissue. Um, so we can get bone marrow samples on occasion, lymph nodes rarely. Um, so what we're um, required to do is to figure out markers on the surface of cells that are in the blood that represent cells that recently left the solid tissue, like the bone marrow or, the, uh, or a lymph node, for example, or the spleen. Um, and we've been able to define that. There are several surface markers that are highly expressed on cells that just divided, the ones that were just born, the new, newly born cells, that have come out of tissue. Um, and those particular markers actually change over time. So just like you know, starting off with black hair, getting gray, and then getting white, uh, these cells start off with a certain um, surface phenotype, hair color, and certainly uh, slowly change over time. And by using those, we can identify cells at those times. And hopefully, we're looking at cells that are representative of what's in the tissue, albeit we, we fish them out of the blood.